Here I have a dusty, dirty Sears Bug Whacker insect zapping lamp. And I know this one had a bad starter when I found it in a dumpster, probably why it was thrown out. So I just chopped off the starter and manually started. So I'm gonna unscrew this top lid and expose the internals. Then maybe plug it in, fire it up, and possibly play around with the zappy part. Okay, got the cover off, and there is not a whole lot in this thing. There is a big transformer, which also serves as the ballast for the fluorescent tube. Down there, there's uh, two wires going in, and then two empty slots. Two empty slots are where I chopped out the old failed glow starter. And then it just has this huge, chunky, potted secondary, which provides the high voltage to the zapping grid. And then over there, there's a switch. I believe it has a timer and, oh, it even has a tiny little photo cell in there so it can turn on when it gets dark out. Other than that, just some mains wiring, some caps, the metal is grounded, and that's about it. For a quick look at the timer and control board, have a mains input directly from the line, got a resistor R1 and a diode D1, and they appear to half wave rectify, the resistor drops the voltage down to something under 35 volts, because that's what the C1 filter capacitor is rated for. Then user interface, a four position switch, and then there's just a little photoresistor to sense the ambient light, because there is an option to have this thing turn on when it gets dark outside. So for the actual two DIPs, there's an MC14541B, and I found info on that. It's just a programmable timer, just as expected. Those capacitors and resistors do the programming of the different intervals. I think it still has a label on the case down here. Yeah, it has a turn off when it's bright, turn, or turn off when it's dark, turn on when it's dark, five hours timer and a three hours timer option for the different positions on the switch. Then right next to that chip we have a little LM393N, just a dual comparator. Then over there the probably a triac or type something like that to do the switching on and off of the light and the high voltage. So that's all there is to the control board. Now I'm gonna go on, made up these little leads here, and gonna put them in, touch the grate, and see if I can get some arcing externally onto the high voltage. All right, online. Let's have a look at the arcing. Oh, it's a nice, sharp, buzzing, crackling sound. Got some multiple streamers there, if the camera picks that up. Ooh. Nice angry noises. Gonna refocus so I can show you what happens to the fluorescent tube as the arc happens. Not sure how well the camera will pick that up, but... The light from the fluorescent tube flickers and brightens a bit when the arc is pulled because, as I showed earlier, the ballast for the lamp is also the primary for the high voltage transformer. So the current in the arc causes a bit of modulation of the current in the lamp. So there is the insides of an insect zapper with a 
starter hacked in so it can fire up without me having to muck around and of course the external high voltage to play with and already having some ideas such as this little F15T8 tube with that electrode is entirely dead cycles endlessly in a preheat and then began to trip out an electronic ballast instant start so I think it is time to apply 5.6 kV at 9 milliamps to see what entertaining things the tube does in its final moments. That'll be for the next video. That's all. Thanks for watching.